Hello fellow fan geeks, it's your fangirl Tally, and today we're watching episode three, <laughs> three of season one of Stargate SG-1. So let's jump right in. Mess. This temple was destroyed long ago. Let's get a move on before we meet somebody who remembers why. There's no signs of human life. This could be some forbidden zone. Wait, I hear something. It sounds like dogs. Wild dog. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am. Thanks be to you. But forgive me. I am Abu of the Shavadai. Shavadai? The people of the steppe. Well, uh, hello. Uh, I'm Daniel Jackson. This is. Jack. Jack. You are not from the people of the river. Uh, no. We're, we're travelers from very far away. The Sea of Ogada? Sure. <laughs> Never have we met anyone from that far away. You will be doubly welcome in my father's camp. This is Teal'c. And this is Dr. Carter. The dogs are gone. For now. This is a woman. Oh, yeah. Do, do I have something growing out of my nose, or...? He looks really upset. It must be some sort of cultural thing. No! I can't look at you! Okay, now I'm hurt. Yo, no! Abu! You must take her. You must take her and go! Go! Raga! Raga! These people, they are from the Sea of Ogada. One is a woman? Yes. Colonel, I think these people are Mongols. This is good news? Dan, you'll find out what I did wrong so I can fix it. No! No! No, let them go! He's right. We'll just take her with us and go. not return. I feared you were dead. I would be in a dog's stomach now. But for these. Is this any way to greet a stranger? That one is a woman. Observant bunch. Father, they come from the Sea of Ogada. They do not know our ways. Law is law. What manner of weapon is that? It's a firearm. It, it shoots like your bow shoots an arrow. She speaks. She dies. So, no! No, she saved my life! Ah! For 
woman saved a life. Hers cannot be taken. Now, you're my guests. If you will travel this country, you must learn our ways. I'm thinking we should just go back while we're ahead. If we learn their customs, we'll be OK. It's an incredible opportunity to study an ancient culture up close. Part of their job. I love when Daniel gets his way. Even when it causes problems. Which is usually the case, guys. Let's be honest. adapted to the local customs, but there was one tribe that, Chagatai, that kept the traditional life of the steppe nomad. Maybe these Shabadai are their descendants. I mean, uh, this camp could literally belong to Genghis Khan. It's a living exhibit of a way of life that's been extinct for 900 years. Oh. Please sit. Now you may talk. Uh, good, because I, uh, I still don't understand what happened out there. Among our people, it is death for a woman to show her face in public. Or to wear the clothes of a man. The old laws weigh heavily. It is well you saved Abu from the dogs. It gave me a way to prevent your death. Uh, thank you for that. Soon, the old laws... <clears throat> The old ways will no longer serve us. Trade will one day replace war. This is the future. We have strongest, fastest horses and camels, the finest wool. And medicines. Drugs of unheard of power. Oh, we've got some pretty swell drugs of our own. Uh, Colonel, a, a lot of breakthroughs in medicine are coming out of the mountains and the, the, the jungles. We should really see what he's got. I will show you. Follow me. I'm afraid you cannot go until you are properly attired. Properly attired? Um, you should probably do what they want. Uh, anthropologists do it all the time. They dress and live as the people they're studying. I I'm not an anthropologist. You are today. today. Oh, I love this. I remember this part. I remember this outfit. It was great. I used the medicine on this wound from a fire arrow in a recent skirmish. The shoulder was badly burned. The moment I began treatment, there was no pain. This could be an anesthetic we haven't seen before. We should take some back and test it. Huh? Daniel, find me an anthropologist that dresses like this, and I will eat this headdress. beautiful woman I have ever seen. <gasps> okay. Guess the kid doesn't get out much. Look, uh, I will not wear this thing over my face. I don't care how much embroidery it has on it. And this dress, or whatever it's called, I mean, I can't move, I can't walk. I don't know. It, it kind of works for me. I, it's, it's you. It's, it's 
You. Definitely you. Uh, uh, the good news is uh, it does look good on her. I'll say that. This plan seems to work as um, an anesthetic. We're taking some home to be analyzed. All things considered, Samantha. If we have to come back here, it might be a better idea if we brought an all-male team. No offense. Well, in view of the fact that you all get to go to this party tonight and I get to stay in this yurt that smells like rancid yak butter and I'm taken. I'll just get a good night's sleep and hope for better luck next time. Gonna be all right. Am I still doubting me? I haven't been afraid of the dark since I was two. You look great. <laughs> I love it. He's so bad. He's so bad. Seriously. About ready to and nobody checked on her that's what gets me no. you better kill me now because I am gonna talk here give me drink and eat what the hell do you think you're doing there's something I want more than life itself until yesterday I thought it was impossible I saw you dressed like that. And I knew your beauty would buy it for me. What do you mean, buy? I will trade you. You, you can't do that. I can. I'm a human being, not property. Where we are going, the men are not as tolerant as my father. Be warned. He seemed like such a sweet boy. No, no one's seen her since last night. All right, find Teal'c. I want everybody geared up and ready to move out in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me talk to Miguel first. This could be another misunderstanding. Cultural differences. The hell with culture. A member of my team has been neutralized. That's a hostile act. How is it that you always come up with the worst case scenario? I practice. It's his job. Well, fresh hoof prints leave out of the camp. That's great. The horse should be identifiable. One of the hooves was splayed. The horse belongs to my son. He is also missing. Okay, Dad. What's going on here? I am as ignorant as you. I don't think so. Now, he took Captain Carter. I want to know why. Among the Shavadai, women are valued highly for trade. Foreign women, most of all. Can you help me track them? Now that I know what to look for. I believe so. If Abu gives her up peacefully, no one will get hurt. Right? We'll do our best. I will give you horses and guide you myself. My son has betrayed me as well as you. It's true. He gave these people sanctuary. Safety. You don't do that.
you may wish to bid me welcome. I've come to trade. Then come, Shavadai. Look like this is going to end well for anyone involved. The son of my enemy. How he peels in my presence. You risk your head coming here. For what? You think this interests me? Yes. I don't belong to this man. I was abducted against my will. Where is she from? Sia Bogada. My friends will come after me. They have weapons more powerful than you can imagine, and they won't hesitate. Silence! Or I will have you beaten. Then he will. Whatever you wish with her, when she is yours. And I would see her. has bitch face down well. The river stones. Sit. Oh, he's willing to chat. Why is it about blonde hair and blue eyes that gets guys? I don't get it. Name you. Why do I have a feeling it's another woman? Why do you hesitate? So name it. Gold, horses, weapons. I have the finest metal craftsman in the mountain. No. What then? Naya. You would trade a woman for another woman? Naya is not just another woman. No, she is my daughter. She will marry a chieftain, the desert warlord Chimaka. Father, please. It is done. Chimaka will come on the next moon. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. Really? Your beauty will not soften my anger much longer. Really? Come on. The offer for the woman is 300 weights of gold. Really? Take it or die. Either way, the woman's mine. for fun. You may want to be a little more careful. They stopped here. To rest the horses. And so must we. For two marks. If we do not find them, I will pay whatever you ask for the loss of Cutter. <clears throat> we can't do that. We don't own our women. Truly? Yes. Um, 
And we heard stories about the Shabbatai women, that once they were free, some were even warriors who fought with their husbands in battles. Uh, Mongol women might have been the legendary Amazon. Shh. We do not speak of it. The laws for women were made to protect and hide them from the demons who brought us to this place. Demons? It is only in legend and long time ago, the dawn of our time. If the demons are gone, why have not the laws been changed? Some say they will return. I think it is an excuse for men to have their way. Among the Shavadai, even the lowliest man is chief among his women. Is that why you only have one wife? To set a kind of example? My people see it as a weakness. Because you love her? Can you cook? Spin, weave, make dyes. I'm a lousy cook, and I couldn't spin, weave, or dye if my life depended on it. You made yourself a bad deal. Well, where you come from, you must have done something. In my world, I am a warrior and a scholar. I do the work of men. Slaughter the men, trade the women and children. For this, I am feared. And because of that fear, I have the allegiance of 22 tribes. But you have to sell your daughter off to make it 23? How would you like to be hung upside down with dust filled rags stuffed in your mouth and nostrils? Slow. Suffocation. Would it mean not sleeping next to you? I'm sorry, I'm sure you know what's best for her. What a good question, though. The spirits have brought you here to teach you how to be a woman. Ouch. She gets that a lot. <laughs> Than enough cleavage in this episode. Thank you. Why is she the only one with her chest hanging out? Everyone else is appropriately covered. Modestly covered. In fact, overly covered. Even. Excess jingly, please. Do you even know where she's going? She's just like, horse run. You belong, Turgut. Let me go. What kind of woman are you? Do you 
you respect nothing, care for no one but yourself. These were responsible for you. Now, because of you, they will be punished. No! It was my fault. If you need to beat a woman to feel like a man, try me. I value spirit in my horses, not my women. <laughs> Definitely not the kind of aggressive kiss. That's a good, bad kiss. I, you guys know what I mean. I heard what you did for my mother. I am grateful. We are all afraid. If you do not obey, my father will kill you. I know. My father is a good man. He never mistreats women unless she has done something wrong. Unless there is no excuse to beat a woman ever. He is a powerful warlord. Our women and our children are always protected, always have food. How can you defend him? He's, he's packing you off to marry a total stranger. I have no choice. I'm not free to choose. And you never will be until one of you says no. the place an enemy a man who kills for pleasure this is very bad well then we'll go in and get her up tonight for your attack there will be war and Turgan is allied with 22 clans and when he fights he takes no prisoners you mean they'd kill all of you if you will wait until morning, I will go and request trade. He cannot refuse. But what will happen to Dr. Carter tonight if we wait? Turgon will partake in his newest purchase. Oh, there's not a chance in hell. Nope. In our land, if a man wants a woman, she can say no. No one refuses Turgon and lives. Yeah. That's then we go now. Not a thing. Stop! He's moved! spend to get her back we will offer 350 weights of gold mm, she is difficult but beautiful a rare prize 400 400 i may even make her wait Not for crying out loud 500 we'll pay it back why this one Others, younger, 
fit to bear many sons. Enough to start your own tribe. She is a woman of power for our people. Not only a warrior, but a, a shaman. She knows the spirits of our land. They tell her when it's time to plant grain, when water will be scarce. Things like that. Do you take me for a fool? He speaks truly. In the land of Ogata, the women are as ours were long ago. That and more. Kartiri is our chieftain. Our people need her. Get out. You have nothing I want. Oh, yeah? P3X595. You drank that stuff that made you take off. <clears throat> we won't get into that right now. <laughs> Mugal. Gee, we didn't get to see help. that, did we? We'll leave at first light. Uh oh. I, I don't blame, blame you for what Abu did. I don't blame him either now. Aww. He's suffering the madness. Aww. As I did when I was young. Sweet. It's what they call love. Oh. Got it. They consider love the madness. That's wild. Tell me! What happened? Where's Naya? She came to me, just like the wind said she would. But before we could make our way, her father caught us. Now, if you don't help me, she will be stoned to death. Oh, God. Just WTF, people! Literally! Oh, curse me for the madness. Better to have left her to marry Chimaka. I would not see anything I cared for go to Chmaka. Can I get a little clarification here? Her own father ordered her stoned to death, is that right? Because she broke the law of the land. Turgon is compelled to uphold the law even more if it applies to his own. He must rule by example. We have to go back, now. Negative. She can't be more than 16 or 17. Captain, if we go in there and try and get that little girl out, we could be starting a war on this planet. Uh-huh. Since when are you a politician, Colonel? Easy, Captain. De oppresso libre. Free from oppression. Special forces motto. I know what it is. That's our world. This is theirs. Do we have the right to interfere in their customs or reinterpret their laws? Yes. Maybe you guys aren't getting this, but they are about to kill this teenage girl simply for being in love with this boy. Please. Use your weapons and free her. Colonel is right. It would mean war, Abu. My son, you must choose between one woman and your people. I cannot. Neither can I. Naya broke the law because of me. I can't leave her here to die. But if it is one life or many... Wait. No, there has to be another way. Miguel, what about the old laws? Isn't there something that we can... Yes. Yes, if we fight with law, Turgon cannot make war. Father, please, think. Remember, there must be a law. 
mysterious one. No say here, Shabadai. Stoning may be challenged by another chieftain. There is no such law. There is. In the song of Akantia, the spirit will strengthen the hand of the just. I will not fight a cripple. You must. by implying that I would engage in such a slaughter. You will lose, and my daughter will still die. So unless there's another chieftain who will challenge my decision... I challenge it. You... You play me. And fight. Here's your chance to shut me up once and for all. I will abide by the wisdom of the spirits. Let them decide justly. So when your back's up against the wall and there's no tomorrow, just take one day at a time and remember, Bigger they are, etc. Et Kick them in the balls. Sure, I do. I assume you've had at least some basic hand to hand training. Yeah, level three advanced. We'll do fine. Mm -hmm. So, just out of curiosity, how do the spirits determine who wins? One dies. It is a fight to the death. Death. Wait a minute. Hey, no one said anything about... Knives. Shabadai? My lord, there can be no war between us. And me? And me? We have won. You are of 
so free to go. Yeah! You can back the hell off now. Thank you. <laughs> stay for the wedding. Oh, six day wedding. You know, we really, really should, should get back. back. Yeah. Six day this wedding. Is time, but we all wish you and I am many years of happiness and many sons, too. And daughters. daughters. an awesome feeling right what do you think to know that you you made an impact on an entire you think this new anesthesia will be a miracle drug on earth well if it is i bet somebody else will get the credit we can never say where it came from damn guess i'm gonna have to cancel that oprah interview <laughs> what is an oprah? oprah that becomes so much fun throughout Really, you guys, it does. The introduction of Tale to Earth, so much fun. What are you guys thinking? Are you enjoying this? Comment below and let me know. I can't wait to hear what you guys are thinking of the Stargate run we're doing. Remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.